So, today I actually want to show you how you can adjust the Fender Bender from As Saver. They actually line that explicitly out on their website that you can adjust the Fender Bender if it doesn't fully suit into the triangle. So what I did, I measured the distance between the two legs here in the triangle and also on my brakes for that part that comes up here. This resulted in a fender bender that doesn't really look anymore like it looked at the very beginning. You see here there are cutouts. This is still existing, I just left that here to make the, the corner a little bit smoother, but here that's just fully cut out. You see that here. So, um, this doesn't impact the stability of the fender bender in any way. Uh, it's still very stable, as you can see afterwards in the live usage videos, where you see when it's raining and he's on, um, that he's very stable still. So, I quickly take off my dash cam here, put them on the side and add the fender bender and you can see how that actually then fits neat and nice into those spots. As we can see now, the fender bender is inside those those corners. You see here the cutout, and you see here the cutout where the fender bender is between the narrow part. Overall, the fender bender is still stable i mean you squeeze that together yourself then again to actually give him the stability that he needs but this actually helps the fender vendor to get a better setup Here we see a live recording from when it was raining. Uh, we see riding over a gravel path and the dirt is flying up high. It doesn't fly really like on my mountain bike wheels, but it's still it's flying up high and some of the dirt actually also lands on top of the fender bender, but it's not as much coming through as it would without the fender bender and I actually have on all recorded um, or all ridden wet rides with the uh, road bike and the fender bender I have not had any dirt on the back of my rain jacket so that has been absolutely clean of course it has been wet from the rain that pours down but it has not received any road dirt or gravel dirt or what else ever what you usually get from the rear wheels when there is no mud guard or just a, a very uh, little one uh, those nice dirty roads that you sometimes have on the on the back of the uh, rain cover you don't have that here and you you s on certain moments you really see how the spray goes really up high uh, at the back but that's just flying up into the air and 
more or less uh, straight falling down again either onto the road because you already uh, passed the a distance since the, uh, the, the the water started to fall down or it lands on the on the on the back of the back part of the fendo bendo so it actually is 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 really um, it, it works really well um, you see also that it's stable it is not the uncut version so the one that you receive when it's new this is actually that fender bender that you just saw in the video segment before where I uh, cut out or cut into uh, some certain segments to adjust it more to the geometry of the bicycle and uh, also by doing so it is not really uh, moving that much uh, sideways or so because the it, it actually really fits itself into the geometry of the bike so from that perspective um, it is actually really really useful it is light you can put it in the back pocket and when it starts raining take it out, put it on and yeah, use it.